We are going to be focusing on hand placement in downward facing dog. There are a lot of details about aligning ourselves properly in downward facing dog. And today I'd like to focus just on one of the details of your foundation. Let's begin. So as we begin, come to all fours position. For years, I went into downward facing dog with my hands nice and wide apart, but with my hands pretty much right under my shoulder. And so as you come up to that, and, and we all vary, maybe that's the perfect alignment for you. But for me, that's a little bit too short. And I don't get the full benefit of length that you could get from your armpit all the way to the pelvis in that alignment. Fortunately, I went to a, a workshop. I've gone to many workshops on downward facing dog. And during this workshop, the teacher was so refined in the uh, alignment details that in a two and a half hour workshop, we only got maybe 15 seconds to 30 seconds of downward facing dog. There are so many aspects of this pose to learn. So come to your belly. And as you place yourself on your belly, have your hands in this position where you're clawing the mat. Now, clawing the mat is not flat hands. It's fingertip tops pressing, base of the fingers pressing down. So your knuckles are slightly lifted up when you're doing that. For many of us, our baby fingers off the mat, even your ring finger, in order to align your hands with the sternum to draw your elbows in toward the midline of the stance, to claw the mat nicely so you get this nice kind of gripping sensation with the hands, so the hands are in the strong foundation, now lift yourself up to all fours position. Notice now that the shoulders are not over the wrist creases. If your pelvis is over the knees, your hands are way far forward or so it seems. Kind of this giant step forward. And for many of us, this helps so fully as we draw into the fullness of our pose. As you draw the pelvis back toward the heels, you can get the sense of engagement of the legs. You keep clawing the mat with the hands before lifting your knees up out of the pose. And look at your feet. Make sure they're still aligned and parallel to each other and hip distance apart. Relax your head so your ears line up with your upper arms. Keep that strong foundation with your hands, clawing the mat, enjoy your breath, and delight in the fullness of your downward facing dog. Many instructors often emphasize the need to press your heels down. And of course, there's a nice elongation occurring from the pelvis all the way to the heels. But for many of us, like myself, my heels only reach the ground if I'm in this very short version where I have a lot closer distance between my hands and my feet. Instead, I'm advocating a little bit longer downward facing dog. Now we all differ. It's just something for you to play with. You can come out of your pose as you're ready, but just play with uh, this as an alignment tip on how to place your hands for downward facing dog. Thank you so much for the exploration. Namaste.